Uh, we fought hard, guys. Uh, Maryland's a good basketball team. Uh, I thought the first half, offensive rebounding uh, definitely hurt us. Um, Julian had 22 and like 10 in the first half. I thought defensively we were solid. Um, we scored the basketball at a high clip. Uh, but I just felt like the second half, like we wore down, his size was the issue, and we got tired and we gave into fatigue and stopped executing our principles. Um, felt, felt great coming back home, being on, that, on the sidelines, and you know, uh, Maryland's going to have a great season. They got a great coach, got a great bunch. Those guys play, play hard and they execute really well. Uh, but I'm proud of our guys, and we're going to keep getting better. Coach, what was what were the challenges of trying to guard Julian Reese, especially in that first half? Uh, his size is a problem. I mean, the kid got better. He got stronger. He got bigger. And he's an active body. Um, I thought the fouls didn't help. I mean, uh, we couldn't. We couldn't. We, we, I tell, I told our guys constantly get downhill, get in the paint, uh, get to the basket, and it's the fouls were so lopsided throughout the game to me in my eyes. Um, but we're gonna keep getting better. That's a good team. Uh, they're rebounding, hurt us, uh, and they just wore us down throughout the game. They just wore us down. One, a couple things over here, your right. Yep. Um, first off, just what was it like kind of walking in here today uh, and going through that? And, and secondly. Uh, things obviously got a little chippy, tense, however you want to put it there in the second half with the technical foul. Yeah, I can tell you what, I want our team to play that hard and, and play with that type of intensity. Uh, I'm okay with altercation as long as none of my guys get disrespectful and throwing punches. Uh, but with that being said, uh, it felt great coming back to Maryland, uh, but it wasn't about it wasn't about me today. It's about a group of young men uh, that understand that they're playing for something bigger than just one game. And we got better today but we got to continue to get better in practice. We got to continue to execute what we do. And we just got to continue to get in better shape. Uh, but I'm proud of our guys. Uh, they know the history of Coppin in Maryland. Uh, we talked to, we talked to these guys about this the last few days. Um, so, you know, we're excited to have this opportunity uh, and I'm proud of our guys. Um, you shot relatively well from the field. I know you said that fatigue was a factor, but you shot relatively well from the field. Was that just kind of your offense, you guys getting those really good looks? Because especially at the beginning of the game, you are getting right to the front of the ground. Yeah, uh, you know, we want to space the floor. We got two guys that we play through. We're going to play through Sam, we're going to play through Nanda. Um, we believe we have enough shooting on the floor. Uh, I've told our guys all preseason, all season long, scoring is not going to be a problem for us. You know, we can score 75, 80 points a game. But we have to understand how important it is to execute on the defensive end. And then when we do get stops, we got to rebound those first misses, which we haven't been doing a great job of that the last few games. We will continue to work rebounding drills in practice, continue to work out principles on the defensive end. And I'm confident that we're going to get better. Typically, over the last few years, our teams have gotten better throughout the season. So I'm confident, you know, our ceiling is high. Our guys just got to keep trusting each other on both ends of the floor. Yeah, we're very fortunate to play against quite a few schools here in the DMV. And um, uh, right now, I think we're, we're ten, two and two, I think. And like I told our guys, we break our season into thirds. You know, it's the non-conference, it's the, the regular season our conference, and it's the MEAC tournament. Mm -hmm. There's only one team going to uh, into the way from our from our conference. So our guys understand that. But do we want to have success uh, non-conference? Absolutely. You know, right now we three and five. Uh, we have a good opponent in UMBC coming up. We want to prepare, we want to get our guys healthy, get them recovered. And our guys, they start to understand how hard they need to play. You know, the, I want the guys like play with a chip on their shoulder. That's how I play. So of course I want our guys to play that way. Yeah. And they will. And they can continue to learn how to compete and play off the court. Anybody else? All right guys, thank you.